Hey, welcome back to another video. So I've been asked several times on the channel, what's my favorite shotgun microphone to use on top of my Sony FX3? And you're actually hearing both of these microphones plugged into the FX3 right now. So we're gonna do a comparison today on these two microphones. And these are also the same mics I used on my professional shoots with my Sony FX6. And I asked on the community tab if you guys were interested in hearing about content from this camera as well. And a lot of you are interested in it. So it's in the same class as the FX3 and the FX30, you know, part of the cinema line. So we're gonna talk about these two microphones today. And I'm actually able to switch back and forth between them right now. So see if you can just tell a little difference as we're getting started, but we're gonna do quite a bit of tests on these, so let's get going. So first up, I'm gonna show you some examples that I got working out in the field using the Deity S Mic 2S. This is a large open space, and I have the microphone on a boom pole just out of frame above the Talon's head, so here it is. And my goal specifically is rejuvenating our patient's skin and bringing it to its healthiest, um, most youthful state. And I really wanted to expand into doing cosmetic practice for not only the mouth and for patient's smiles, but also for the entire head and neck. Analyze it, see how their face has aged over time, and see how we can help them properly rebalance their face so that they can feel like their best self. Now that sounded great, but I've also got some really good results with the Rode NTG5 as well. And so from a strategic standpoint, you know, I mean, you are absolutely maximizing your time. And in so doing, you've got the time to, to teach, to develop, to train. Here that you can see with boxes on them, each rack will hold 560 boxes. We have seven of those racks here in this, um, this room, our curtain area. Hey, Ray Valencia here, back with another video. I work full time in video production, and I've actually had the chance to use these microphones really, really thoroughly over the last several months. And I noticed they do sound a little bit different. Both are really, really good microphones. So we're gonna jump into the differences here. So the first microphone that you're hearing is the Deity S Mic 2S. So this is the shorter, lighter, smaller version of the Deity S Mic 2. So this is the S Mic 2S and the S stands for short. It's a short water resistant shotgun microphone made of full metal. It's completely made out of brass. Very, very durable microphone. And now you're hearing the Rode NTG5. This is also a water resistant short shotgun microphone. And this is the shorter, lighter version of Rode's NTG3. So these are the two smaller microphones in their shotgun microphone class. So as you can see right off the bat, the Rode comes with a little bit more of a full kit. As you can see the big ride coat shock mount and everything. And then you have the DDS Mic 2S comes with this really nice hard case. Looks very professional, very, very rugged waterproof case, but those differences come at a price. So let's go ahead and talk about what you actually get in the box with each kit because that just right off the bat may help you determine which one is a better value for you before we ever even get into the audio test, which I'll put those later in the video and I'll have the chapters down below if you wanna skip ahead or do that whole thing. And make sure you hit the like button while you're down there. So let's talk about what you get with the kits. First up, let's check out the kit that you get with the Deity S Mic 2S. Here we have it, it comes in this nice professional hard case that holds everything inside the Deity S Mic 2S, which is all metal construction, just a nice short shotgun microphone. Also comes with a foam wind cover and a microphone holder if you wanna actually put this on a boom pole or a stand. And then you have this adjustable knob where you can change the angle the microphone if you have it on a boom pole and you need to you know get in there closer to your talent and aim it more directly at them all right now let's see what you get with the Rode NTG5 kit all right so here's everything that comes with the kit you have the Rode NTG5 microphone here you have the windshield number 10 which is made for this microphone you have the PG2R which is this pistol grip shock mount made by Ryko you also have the XLR cable that's designed for the shock mount you get this little carrying pouch and a boom pole microphone holder it comes with the foam shield too and there it is Beautiful microphone. It has these nice little circle eyelets here. 
So it looks like you have to assemble the pistol grip on here and it has a couple different places where you can assemble it and it comes with a little hex key for that as well. So we'll get that assembled in just a moment. So I put them on the microphone first and then I'm gonna see what kind of spacing I like for this. So I could have it mounted, you know, something like this or in the back. So you just slide it right into the grooves here and then you fit this pin inside the hole here. So you just wiggle it on through and drop that in there. And there you go. Plug in your XLR and this cable designed for this XLR is really ingenious here. That's really smart the way they designed that there. So that's really cool. So when it comes to value and what you get with the kit, the road is definitely more bang for your buck, but it also is a lot more bucks. It's $180 more, but you also get this pistol grip, which you can get separately for $80. And it comes with this XLR cable that you need to get audio into your camera. And you need this to power the microphone as well through phantom power. This is a $60 cable made just for this pistol grip. So you can always add these on to the deity kit if you wanted to save a couple bucks now this one is just ready to go with the boom pull holder just like the road but this one is 180 dollars less so when it comes to actual value if you were just looking at the microphone capsules they're actually pretty even but you have to get the whole kit for the road so i don't know i would kind of give the best value to the deity so these microphones are quite a bit shorter than their compared microphone. Like for example, this Deity S Mic 2S is only 5.8 inches long, whereas the Deity S Mic 2 is 9.8 inches long. So it's literally like double the length of this microphone. And same for the Rode NTG5, which comes in at eight inches and the NTG3, which comes in at 10 inches. So this microphone actually is quite a bit longer than the DD S Mic 2S, but the S Mic 2S actually weighs just a tiny bit more. The Rode NTG5 is actually 76 grams, and the DD S Mic 2S is shorter, but it actually weighs 85 grams. So, not a huge difference there. We're talking about grams here. For compact size, I would definitely give a point to the DDS Mic 2S. All right, so now we're gonna get into some audio tests so you can hear the difference between these two microphones in different scenarios, whether we're doing a test with the microphones on the camera or we're doing it in an indoor boom mic setting like this. So let's go ahead and test them out now. All right, so now we can do our outdoors test. I'm by a lake here. The sun is just about to set. I have my C stand set up with my boom pole and we're gonna test out each microphone right here in this environment. I'm shooting on the Sony FX3 and the mics are fed directly into the camera. So let's do it. This is the sound of the Deity S Mic 2S on a boom pole. So I just have the regular foam cover on it right now. There is a little bit of breeze and you can hear the water kind of rustling, splashing around along the edges of the lake here. But how does this microphone sound in this kind of environment? All right, let's switch over to the Rode mic. All right, so now you're hearing the Rode NTG5. I didn't even cut the camera or anything. I just unplugged one mic and plugged in the next one. So it's in the exact same position. The wind is still roughly about the same and the noise environment is roughly the same as well. So how does this microphone sound in this boom pole scenario? All right, now this is the onboard camera mic test. So we're about 10 feet away at this point. I'm shooting from an 85 millimeter. We're on the Deity S Mic 2S. I haven't adjusted the gain or anything like that, but how does this microphone sound at this distance? I have channel one set to a five gain and channel two input set to a three gain. So I'll be able to pick out whichever one sounds the best. I'm obviously not peaking from this distance, but how does this microphone sound? And now you're hearing the Rode NTG5. So how does this microphone sound in comparison with the exact same settings and the exact same distance away as the Deity S Mic 2S? Is one better than the other for long distances or large spaces? 
is the longer tube of the Rode NTG5 able to narrow me in a little bit better? Let me know down in the comments. Plus you get this wind sock here that you can't even buy separately and it's made just for this microphone. So this is another value that we couldn't even really make these microphones compete on because this is a way bigger advantage in the wind. It does muffle the sound just a tiny bit, but it's definitely really, really good for outdoors. As you saw in the examples, when it comes to wind, these foam covers just don't quite cut it. But if you're in a pinch, they will work for the time being. In this microphone test, you're hearing the Deity S Mic 2S, and you're about two feet away. I can actually reach the camera from here. You're on a 24 millimeter lens, and the microphone is mounted on top of the FX3. So, how does it sound like this? And then, how does it sound if your subject was to actually kind of turn their back away from you and talk away? Let's say you're doing like a documentary type thing, and then they start to talk back towards the camera or another subject or something like that. So, how does this scenario sound? All right, and now you're hearing the Rode NTG5 in the exact same scenario. The microphone is mounted on top of the camera. I'm sitting here on the steps with the water splashing around. And suppose your subject turns away and talks to someone else or something like this and then turns back towards the camera or another subject and then starts to talk back towards the camera. So how does my voice drop off? How are each of these microphones responding in this environment? This is a standard boom mic test. So if we were an indoor scenario shooting an interview or something like that in a closed confined space, these microphones would be just out of frame above my head pointing towards either my chest or my chin, which is where they're at now. So this is the sound of the Rode NTG5. If I was in this interview type setting or maybe a YouTube video talking directly into the camera like this, and now you're hearing the DDS Mic 2S with the exact same settings, but you'll see that the DDS Mic 2S actually comes in a little bit lower on the waveform than the Rode NTG5 which you're hearing now, but it actually comes in a little bit louder, even with the same settings. So I don't know if that's something that's going on inside the microphone with Rode, or is it just the fact that it's a little bit longer of a microphone and has more of a directional pickup pattern. Bottom line is they're both excellent microphones. Keep in mind that they are phantom powered microphones. So you will need a camera like the FX3 or the FX30 or the FX6 to power these microphones through XLR, but links to everything are down in the description below. Shoot for the stars and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.